About 30 years ago, I came to the door because I wanted to look at the organ. They offered me the job of scheduling, and so I ended up scheduling these concerts for the last 30 years. I still sometimes come in at a drop of a hat if someone gets sick and can't perform. It's free to attend, and there's free coffee, and uh, we always have a good time. It really was painful to stand up on March 11th of 2020 and tell the audience that we were going to be closing indefinitely and haven't scheduled anybody for 2021 until now. We're able to do 14 concerts between September 22nd and December 22nd where they will be live streamed online. The old church and its mission to provide a community center of music is so important and we're so glad we can be part of this future of Portland. The free concerts at noon are balanced by the evening concerts that happen here almost every night these days, or at least before COVID. These concerts rely on your donations, and since we don't have a tip jar right now and you're watching from home, if you can find it possible to send us a donation either using the link below or by mailing us a check even at the old church address we will be happy to receive them and they will help ensure the future of these concerts i'm very happy to promote the old church i i hope i can do it for many more years until i peter out or something i don't know i i have no plans to retire from this volunteer position so
Hi, everybody. I'm Diane Davies. Thank you so much for joining me today on this live stream. I'm so excited to be here today and to share with you my newly published Christmas arrangements, my first ever professionally published works. So thankful to Fred Bach Publishing Company for taking a chance on me. Um, it is up on their website at Fred Bach, it's spelled B-O-C-K, and it's available today. Um, this whole project was about seamlessly knitting together a Chopin Nocturne with a traditional Christmas carol. So you'll hear how the left hand Nocturne accompaniment goes right into the Christmas carol and the carol takes on, uh, the tune of it takes on the melismatic character of Chopin's bel canto writing. First, I put I Heard the Bells with Christmas Day with Chopin's B major nocturne. And the carol lyrics are a poem written by Henry Longfellow, penned on a Christmas day after being notified of his son's death in the Civil War. His words of such faith and encouragement give me hope to press on in difficult times like all of us have had to. Second, I paired Chopin's B flat minor nocturne with What Child Is This? And lastly, Silent Night goes with the famous and loved E-flat major nocturne.
Thank you again for being here. I forgot to say when I first opened up that I had my very first piano recital here in this very location. I was eight years old. I'm not going to tell you how many years ago that was, though. That would be giving away my age. Uh, next, I would like to share with you one of my own compositions. It's self-published with ASCAP under my personal publishing name, Sevenfold Music. It's the number seven, fold, and music is spelled with a Q, M-U-S-I-Q. Um, I felt like uh, I needed to include this today because I wrote this after uh, a journey of recovering from depression. And the set is titled Reflection Set, and you'll see kind of how that journey goes through. But I've included it today because I know myself and many others, uh, the holidays can be a trigger for sadness, loneliness, grief, and depression. So I just wanted to encourage you all today. The first movement is called Mirror Image, and it's literally me looking in the mirror wanting desperately to make a change. And the tragic B section is emulating me breaking that mirror and giving room for a healthier reflection to come forward. You'll also notice if you can see on the keys, all of the writing is reflective of each other. The right and left hands reflect each other on the keys. The second movement is titled Muddy Waters, and it's written in rondo form. This pesky A section keeps returning to just show how a recovery process of any kind can be dirty or muddy. And the third movement is a beautiful serenade titled Serenade Sentimental, and it's dedicated to my family because they stood by me through such a difficult time. And in order to incorporate them into this composition, I wanted to weave them into this music. So all the melodic content in this is derived from the scale degrees that correlate to their phone numbers. So if you have perfect pitch, you'll be able to call any one of us at any time. Here's reflection set.
Thank you for sharing that with me. Um, back to Chopin. So this next set will be volume two of Romantic Christmas Suite. And that will be available for Christmas 2022. Uh, a little bit about this set. I'm just going to play snippets since it's not in print yet and to just give you a little taste of uh, the creative process in this. So this A-flat major nocturne of Chopin's has an arpeggiated triplet left hand accompaniment. And it fit perfectly with O Holy Night, which is in 12-8. So that continual underneath threes went through. How I melded them together at the beginning is I put in one measure of 6-4. So the whole thing is in 4-4. Four, four. But I used a single 6-4 measure to could finish up Chopin's ending phrase and then give the two-beat anacrusis into O Holy Night. Sounds like this. declarative text of the carol, Fall on Your Knees, Oh Hear the Angel Voices, I paired the accompaniment of the B section of this nocturne because it was a more static block pattern. the most beautiful D-flat major nocturne. I had originally paired it only with Away in a Manger, and I had quite a bit of the nocturne. And so um, at Fred Bach, I was working directly with Brad Nix, and he helped me come up with the idea to perhaps make it into a medley, because I was pretty, um, didn't want to give up all those beautiful nuggets out of the Chopin Nocturne, so we worked it out another way. And the second carol to be paired into this nocturne is We Three Kings of Orient Are. So first I'll show you how Away in a Manger weaves in at the very beginning.
Next, I took the B section of this nocturne, and that's how I was able to keep more material and add We Three Kings. It's uh, so exciting. I love the last iteration of Away in a Manger and how it just elides right into the coda section that Chopin provided in this nocturne. And also, even clear to the end, Away in a Manger weaves all the way through. The last one in this set for volume two to come out in 2022 through fredbach.com. Um, the C sharp minor posthumous nocturne led really well to go with God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen being in a minor key and in 4 4. In the middle section of this nocturne, Chopin starts composing in the dominant key, G sharp major, and he changes it up into three, four, into a mazurka. So at that point, I then used the first Noel.
You know, that one I had to play all of it for you. My favorite, I think of the set. Uh, next is a new little project I've started and hope to have published as well. This is called Impressionistic Christmas Suite, and I'm using, of course, Debussy, or Debussy. And um, reading about him, he considered himself a purist, I mean, a French composer in the bloodline of Rameau and Couperin. So learning that about him, I felt it was very important to only combine traditional French Christmas carols with his music. So um, I've put together Claire de Lune with Bring a Torch, Jeanette, Isabella, and I'm finding that these carols are maybe not as familiar, so I'll play them, the three of them, and then just play the set for you. So here's the carol of Bring a Torch, Jeanette, Isabella. And the second one I put together was um, Debbie Sees the Girl with the Flaxen Hair. And he definitely took on uh, the character of this girl as sweet and innocent. And so it perfectly married with the song, He is Born the Divine Christ Child, in our faith that Mary, his mother, was a virgin. So here is the carol, He is Born the Divine Christ Child. Joyful Ding Dong Merrily on High, again a traditional French carol, goes like this. Impressionistic Christmas Suite.
again, thank you so much for joining me today. And um, you can find me at Music Power, M-U-S-I-K, or DianeDavies.com, or you can look for the first volume for the, uh, the Romantic Christmas Suite on FredBach.com. Thanks again so much.